Hi, I'm Danny Ashton and I'm the founder and lead tester here at HouseFresh. Now, even though most air purifiers look the same, their performance can vary greatly. We don't want to recommend units that look great but don't do the job you need them to do. That's why we put every air purifier through a series of tests to assess how good they really are. In this video, I'll walk you through each test. First stop, the air cleaning performance test. The main job of any air purifier is to clean the air, removing the tiny particles that cause issues from pollen and dust to pet dander and mold spores. So naturally, this is our main concern when conducting our reviews. In order to test the air cleaning performance of an air purifier, we fill our room with thick smoke from an incense stick. We set the air purifier to its highest fan speed and we use our purple air indoor sensor to track how quickly the air purifier cleans the airs. We declare the room clean and end of the test when the level of PM1, which are the most smallest and most damaging particles, has reached zero. We test every purifier inside the same room performing the same job. This allows us to compare units like for like so we can recommend those that give you the best cleaning power for the most competitive price. The next step is the sound level test. Although noise bears no correlation to air cleaning performance, if an air purifier generates too much noise, you're less likely to use it regularly. And for some cases, you'll definitely need to find a quiet air purifier. For example, when looking for an air purifier for your bedroom, a baby's nursery, or a home office. In order to test the levels generated by an air purifier, we set a sound meter in the test room. We turn on the air purifier and slowly increase the fan speed levels. We then record the sound levels in decibels generated by the air purifier at different fan speeds. Now, we know that noise can be subjective, so once the test is over, we also record a video of that air purifier running at each fan speed so you can hear what it sounds like. Medium. The last step is the energy consumption test. When buying an air purifier, most people will focus on its initial price without considering the long-term costs. Now, one of the most important long-term costs to consider is electricity usage. In order to calculate energy consumption costs of an air purifier, we plug the air purifier through an energy meter. We then turn on the air purifier and we track the energy consumed when running at the lowest and highest fan speeds. With this data, we can estimate what the electricity bill is likely to cost you with the help of a handy calculator from the US Department of Energy. And that's it. Once we have all this data, we move on to the real life testing stage, where we continue to use the air purifier around the house to see how it deals with the usual scenarios, from smelly kitchens to dusty hallways. Now we're continually testing and reviewing new air purifiers. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to follow our latest videos.